I'm back with another album review. Today's review is on Weathered by Creed. This is the band's third studio album, and the only album they made as a trio because bassist Brian Marshall was fired from the band prior to the making of the album. This meant that guitarist Mark Tremonti served as the guitarist and the bassist in the studio. Uh, Brett Heslow served as their touring bassist. The album was produced, mixed, and engineered by the band themselves, with help from John Kurzweig and Kurt Kelsey. Uh, Bob Ludwig mastered the album. The steer technician was uh, Shilpa Patel, and uh, Bobby Salvaggio handled studio engineering. The guitar technician was Ernie Hudson, uh, not the actor of the same name. The drum technician was Tony Adams. The album was released on November 20th, 2001 on Wind Up Records. Now let's talk about the songs. The intro to this album is Bullets, which was released as a single on uh, February 23rd, 2002. Scott Stapp said this is some of the heaviest material from Creed. These guys even played this song on a Saturday Night Live on November 17th, 2001. The music video was made in this link inscription. The next track is Freedom Fighter. I read that this album as a whole has some of the some Creed's heaviest material as well as uh, some songs they considered uh, to be more experimental. After that is Who's Got My Back. Bo Taylor was featured on the song performing the Cherokee Indian Prayer. Next up is Science. It appears that this song has to do with Christianity and faith, essentially being a callback to the band's debut album. Next up is One Last Breath, which was released as a single on uh, April 15th, 2002. The song is about looking back on past mistakes and getting comfort from friends. The song is seen in the music video, and there's a link in the description. We followed up with My Sacrifice which was released as a single on October 16th, 2001. It served as the lead single from this album. Fun fact, Creed also performed the song on Saturday Night Live on November 20th, 2001. A music video was made, there's a link in the description. That's followed up by Stand Here With Me. I think this song is supposed to be about helping someone else. What comes next is Weathered, which is, of course, the title track for this album. It was released as a single on uh, November 2nd, I mean, November 6th, 2002. I think the song is uh, foreshadowing for uh, when these guys are going to split up, and that staff's mental state was already going down the shitter around this time. What comes after that is Hyde which was released as a single on uh, May 21st, uh, 2002. I need to mention that, uh, that around this time, Stapp was dealing with substance abuse. The second to last track is Don't Stop Dancing, which was released as a single on October 22nd, 2002. Uh, Stapp's sister, Amy, uh, provided backing vocals on this track. And we also have uh, the, Tallahassee, uh, the Tallahassee Boys Choir uh, providing the backing chorus. A music video was made, and there's a link in the description. The ending of the album is Lullaby. Jeff Hansen, who was managing Creed, you know, said that this was their version of the Joshua Tree by U2. When researching the album, I read that it peaked at number one on the Billboard 200. It was also certified gold in Germany and the UK, platinum in Brazil, yeah, double platinum in Australia and New Zealand, triple platinum in Canada, and six times platinum in America. To say that this album was a commercial success would be an understatement. As to the critics, there were mixed reactions. Some reviews were positive, including one from Rolling Stone magazine of all things. It's just that Slant Magazine, Entertainment Weekly, and All Music were not fans of those of this album. Honestly, fuck those publications. Now for my thoughts. 
I think this is a good album overall, but not as good as its predecessors. You can clearly tell that these guys were having problems uh, you know, if you were to listen to this album. New Year's Eve of 2002 is when Creed played their last live show at that time. June of 2004 is when they announced that they split up. Alter Bridge ended up forming during the same year, and I will get around to reviewing the albums by Alter Bridge eventually. Things only got worse for Scott Stapp because he attempted to take his own life in 2003. Uh, luckily, he didn't. Three years later, he attempted to end his own life again after jumping 40 feet from a balcony in Miami. He was badly injured from that, but thankfully he survived. There was other fucked up shit that he was uh, involved with, including domestic violence and public intoxication. So yeah, he was a mess back then. April 27, 2009 was when Creed announced their reunion. They released a new album that same year, but we'll get back to that next time. Overall, I recommend checking out this album. And now's the part where I question you. Have you listened to Weathered? If so, what do you think about it? What's your favorite song from it? How do you think this album compares to its predecessors? And let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another review.